so difficult to kill in this game, right? Between all the sustain that Ehome has? Yeah, but for sure, but... The problem is just the, the damage output, right? Yeah. And the control... Don't really... Ehome just start running at Secret here in the very first fight over the battle room. Nice double impale from Pilot. I already said things up right. They did get the battle room. They might even get the first one as well. Arch War! He doesn't have a prayer getting out of that one alive with the Spirit Siphon slowing him down. He's fine for, so far and he gets to, uh, to control the rune as well. He's gonna go for Universe here. He's gonna be able to easily land this avalanche. Just goes for the toss straight upwards. He's gonna try and run him down underneath his tier 1 tower. Does have the haste rune. It should be easily enough. And will end up going down underneath the tower, but it's still fine. Claiming against Ice Ice Ice. But they, they must have known this going into this game that they are heavily reliant on levels. As you see top lane. Fenrir is going to be run down by Puppy. He doesn't care. They know that Ehome are unlikely going to be able to TP and uh, really punish this one, but they're in so deep and it took them a really long time to actually kill Fenrir. Now they get the hex on the old bottom. They're actually going to be able to burst it down with the ultimate. He's on the Ebony Shield, but it doesn't matter. One more right click and he finishes them off. They're underneath deep, underneath this tower. Old Eleven is here with an extra bit of revenge. They claim one core kill and looks like should be able to run down Pylai Die as well. He's out of options. He's just buying more and more time as a game of Ring Around the Rosie commences. Is, but it has to end eventually. <laughs> Time Puppy and the rest of Secret are beginning to close in on this mid lane, hoping to be able to punish E home for sitting so far forward. Old Eleven is actually in a kind of a nasty spot. He does get spotted out here. Ice 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 is going to be able to help him out, but it might be too late. The Primal Roar goes down, and Old Eleven is definitely dead. Team Secrets. They really need levels in this game. Zero, one, and two hasn't really been able to accomplish nearly as much as the support duo on the other side is. Ice, 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 just throwing out tracks. And Secret already going for this mid tower as this aggressive blink forward. Fenrir tries to save himself, but of course that's pure damage from Arteezy. Ice, ice, ice is going to be the next target. Already impaled up. Sonic Wave goes out. They just pop him. He gets off the Shuriken, but it doesn't seem to be enough. Old Chicken can't really stop and win this fight without the Exorcism as Lana isn't going to be able to help him out. Looks like Old Eleven gets the toss up in the air, but it's not enough to kill the OD, while well, Lanim is eventually going to take out from this Doom, and Old Chicken is just being kited around. The OD, who did not die at the time, he turns around and kills him instead, and Ehome, they lost everyone in that fight. Yeah, that, that's the problem with this. He tosses the Abaddon in, and he gets a few hits of the Curse of Avernus. Maybe that's your best option here at this rate, but uh, I, this just does not look like the... Oh, no, don't forget Ice Ice Ice! A short memory there as that counter ward catches him out once again. Saving support, you know, it, it, it can go in and heal or keep them alive and so forth, but it has no real damage output. And this, this lineup is just all over the place. With another smoke and potentially another failed initiation from Ehome is secret. They're just tracking it back here. Old Eleven is going to go for the toss forward here on the Bounty Hunter. This impale. Highlight die. Oh, turn around here for Eternal Levy. Gets on big Sonic Wave. The sound falls them up. They're going to try and track down Eternal Levy as much as possible. They just can't keep him one play. Now the Tyra. Marchese drops the hammer. Able to take out two ones. The only surviving member, but he's losing intelligence and losing it faster than you can even see. Highlight die. He finally goes down, but it doesn't really matter. He trades away his life for a guaranteed kill on Old Chicken. A one for five exchange. And Eternal Envy just feels like he's kind of toying with Ehome because he knows there's no hard disables to make him uh, fearful. Went for a Hood of Defiance so that he could easily survive through Tiny knowing that there's no other disable. Puppy's going to be targeted here. They will be able to slow him down. Puppy is going to be eaten alive here by the Exorcism. The track bounces over to Eternal Envy and Secret. Consent. Yeah, it's not the most reliable thing. And as the game progresses, it might not be what you exactly want to do, but... Still, a kill is a kill at a point like this, and aggressively he jumps forward. forward. Prismant with the exorcism still out. Old Chicken may be able to heal himself soon. Gets off the silence onto Eternal Levy. The roar comes out, going on to Fenrir. Immediately taken off with the Aquatic Shield. Now they have the Oracle save, but it might not be enough. It's a huge Sonic Wave hit, and it's only going to be Lonim and Death Prophet who are able to keep themselves relatively healthy. Lonim again just being kited around time and time again. Ice 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 battling up against Eternal Levy, but he knows this is a fight he just can't win. Has to run himself away while the OD is able to get Death Prophet. Damage, which they don't. And they've got the, uh... They've got the Veil of Discord now, too, to go along with it. And... Okay, the setup for this fight might actually be good. He, I, 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 I get the old spot out some of these heroes. They jump forward, already get his final roll. That's going to be no Oracle. It's going to be able to save Old Chicken. That's just being targeted down by the OT. This means he's going to fall so quickly. The Embodied Shield is just not enough against the Finger of Death. Lonim, yes, he's healing up, but he's doomed. He can't help his allies. So they leave him for last. He's the dessert as the rest of E-Home was consumed by Secret for dinner. The Oracle with absolutely no time.
That team fight synergy from start to finish, Arteezy gets rid of 1M in that fight too. <laughs> oh no! Wow, that's 85 hints. Things he immediately ults the Oracle with absolutely no time. That team fight synergy from start to finish, Arteezy gets rid of 1M in that fight too. <laughs> oh no! Wow, that's 85 hints. Good lord, why Arteezy? Yeah, you made an extremely good point on the on the case of Ab Abaddon with the uh, borrowed time and how Arteezy just loves stealing all his intelligence. His secret just looks so on top of things. They try and get some harassment, shuriken damage, but it's not much, Lanham. He's even going for the deny, they actually jump in now with Old Eleven. Oh, they actually get the toss back, but there is the imprisonment save, and Old Eleven, he may be dropped here from Arteezy. Comes in, Eternal Levy misses the Sonic Wave on Old Eleven, but he hits the rest of the home, allowing Arteezy to be able to dry up here and take one. The Death Prophet goes down, and he's coming back with life number two. e -home regrouping now, wondering whether or not they can initiate, but Eternal Levy, he says, you want to initiate, I'll initiate on you instead, forcing e -home back to the fountain while Secret casually take that range racks on their way out. 27 to 9. I thought that last score was going to be rough, but this They're one's even going to leave. Oracle Ultimate, is that even going to be enough to save? Arteezy hits so damn hard, he's going to be able to take over 11 even if Old Bottom doesn't drop. Barely keeps himself alive underneath the fountain. And they're just being beaten back right now, and Ehome, they just don't have heroes that can punish this kind of aggression. Like, they're diving them nearly to their fountain, and still nothing's being done about it. Puppy even buying a hood for himself at this point. Not even really caring about the lack of item efficiency. Last game, Seeker really took their time to make sure they had the biggest net worth lead they could before they went high ground. This time around, they're not dropping a beat. They keep on going. As the cooldown's already back up, the Doom placed on Lonham, and the team will be able to take one of those racks. But they have to back out now. This is where Ehome really have to catch something. But again, time and time again, we keep saying they have no catch. They don't have the disables. They don't have anything to stop Secret from retreating. Is that a new trend we're gonna see now from, from Secret that they've uh, discovered this Hood of Dyer's Defiance and, and the active where it creates a spell that sp spells you? Oh, I saw, I saw, I thought it was just gonna be a scouting. Highlight Eye leads them right into that trap. Will be able to provide the disabled has the finger of death ready to go. Shuriken stops it for a second, but a second is not enough. I saw, I saw, loses his life and now Ehome. Tree to the high ground. Lonham, it's ultimate pop now. He is exposed. E Homer gonna try and turn this one around. Old Eleven sitting in the side here. They've been silenced up Eternal Levy. They're gonna go for it, but the Avalanche misses. He managed to get the flake away. And now they turn towards Puppy instead. But again, the movement speed. He just runs right through him. See you later. Lonham dropping lower and lower. Doesn't have the ultimate to be able to save him. Fenrir provides some of the heals though. But it's gonna be Arteezy, the heavy hitter. He's going to have his Blink Dagger ready to go soon. Blinks the wrong direction. Doesn't get an imprisonment on anybody. Slow down. Old Eleven jumps in. Tries to grab Eternal Envy, but it's just not enough. Old Chick going to be targeted here by RTZ. They don't have any disables to stop him. He just keeps right-clicking away. He doesn't give a damn about the Oracle Ultimate. As Old Chicken will be able to survive thanks to the Spirit Siphon. And the heals during that Oracle Ult. But that is still more... More spells on cooldown for Ehome as Old Eleven tries to go back in, ends up getting juked out. Botic Shields will be able to provide him some saves. Puppy's just trying to close that gap though with the Infernal Blade, turns on Alana instead. The imprisonment goes out. Ice 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 comes back here, but Primal War taken out two shot by Arteezy. Ehome, even underneath their fountain. They can only only take so much. Secrets seem to have an unlimited amount of damage. They take it a second later, Brax. The only thing that's stopping them. They're staying in this game so far just to try to keep their tournament hopes alive, maybe hope that uh, Secret just gets way too over-aggressive, but... Arteezy's found another pickoff, Old Eleven was too far forward, Arteezy jumps forward, grabs him with the imprisonment, they're gonna try and run him down and they get him in the end! Arteezy reads it, the OD ultimate drops, finishes off Old Eleven, there goes their primary initiator, there also goes their primary disabler, and he... Looking a little bit bewildered as to how they're going to be able to stop this final push of Team Secret. And it just doesn't seem possible. Puppy casually runs in. It's Case Lonham out of the fight entirely with the Doom. Arteezy keeps running forward. He saved one hero. He's going to target the next. Takes out the Oracle. Now turns his attention onto Old Chicken. Waiting him on him as his ultimate's going to end up going down soon. Another GG. This time 33 to 9. Make it 34. And a casual 35 pickup before the throne explodes as Secret. They drop down the loot just back in nice and early. People were rather surprised, but now against Ehome, they take two of the most dominant games yet. That series lasted altogether, maybe an hour draft included. It just felt like they.